gonna check the scene editor take the lights and put six lights here and under light basics we got this you could also go for flags type specific in shadows but we're going for basic um, wanted to show you that you can take this one for example and, and hold on shift go like that uh, if I change this value to 5 and hit preview nothing happens you'll have to hit apply but okay it works hit 10 apply this one is not on so I'll tick that on and then it will increase the the fall of distance by 15 for each light. So hit apply and we'll get this. Pretty nice. Um, turn off again and apply to get it to go back. Of course this also goes for stuff like light intensity. So I can set this to 17 and have a step of 15 and it's somewhat the same result. So, yeah, and also, of course, I can use different stuff here, techniques, uh, divide, um, apply to revert that, uh, subtract, and, yeah, other things uh, let's take this and that this guy always pops up when you do this so I click here shift click here and set that for white and that one for black um, let's just see what happens hit apply uh, not much I think that that's because this one is set to add instead of replace so like that nothing wow uh, that is strange well you can't really add black to white can you uh, so okay um, what we'll do let's see if this works uh, we'll add pink to white apply I said I don't know multiply okay there we go I don't know why this first one though gets to be this first color here gets to be black and I don't get that that's kind of like strange to me also wonder if I can select this in the reverse order um, so if this one was white and this one was blue would it work? not quite uh, so I don't know I need to look into that uh, multiply multiply you step apply so I mean it's pretty close but it's not really again the top one here is black um, so yeah not really quite sure how to fix that but um, I guess it kind of like gives you an idea though what I can do now is I can right click here and since all of these are selected I can take the saturation and tweak it to max or not um, of course if I do this a lot then I'll lose the effect 
so be careful doing that if I go all the way to the left or all the way to the right I will lose the effect of what I had uh, so okay let's go back and once again go for this one and that one apply I'm gonna make them uh, that is tricky uh, I wanted to make them brighter Let's see. If I want to make them all brighter, then I can use white. And I can say add. No. No, it doesn't work like that. So forget about that. Um, anyway, you can, if I right click here, I can change the resolution slightly. Uh, I mean the the hue as you can see if I tweak this stuff uh, the challenge though is not to tweak too much to the left or right when I do this because the more I tweak this the more it will find later work to um, well the offset the color is going to be gone so you're not going to have a gradient color starting from the first color here to the last color here so now they're all blue and that's not what I wanted really um, but uh, yeah so just a bit on that So yeah, um, of course I can drag this down now by just clicking and skewing, so that's kind of nice. Like that. Um, I can also take all of these guys and I can click here on this envelope. Now you can see that it's taken all of them. So if I make a keyframe here now, one here. Um, yeah, I've got frame point something, that's not good. Uh, actually, that should be, yeah, well, whatever. Okay, so 22 on that one. And we can kind of like animate this now, this light uh, intensity. Uh, I think you can right click here and say, yeah, is in out, and it will go like that. Uh, click this guy you know I think I'll just delete all of those go like that this one is in out okay so what that means of course is if I just uh, take the timeline now and scroll it it will the light will animate So, just showing you here how you can tweak this and that as far as light goes in the scene editor. 